Hey calculus class, today we are learning topic 15, implicit differentiation. So the first thing we're going to look at is what is the difference between explicit and implicit functions? So the function y is an explicit function if x of x if the formula is written in the form y equals some expression with x's. And this is typically how we have seen functions throughout your entire math career y equals x squared, y equals x, y equals x cubed, y equals the square root of x, and so on. If the formula is not written this way, we say that y is an implicit function of x. So here's an example of an explicit versus an implicit. So explicit, we have y equals x to the 2 thirds. So this is your function y in terms of x. Implicit means that there is not a, one of the variables solved for by itself. Here we have y cubed equals x squared. Technically, this is the same two functions. It's just that this one is solved for y versus this one where we do not have a single variable all by itself. So when you run into functions like that, we have to do implicit differentiation. Many times if a function is defined implicitly, it is difficult or impossible to write it explicitly. Unlike my example from the previous slide, it would be easy to solve for y in that case, but most of the time it's not. To take the derivative of an implicitly defined function, we use implicit differentiation. All right, so here's our example. We want to find dy dx. Given x squared plus y squared equals 3y to the fifth. Your first step is to assume y is a function of x and differentiate both sides with respect to x using the chain rule for the y terms. So that means I'm going to take the derivative with respect to x of x squared plus the derivative with respect to x of y squared equals the derivative with respect to x of 3y to the fifth. Now, off to the side, what I mean by the chain rule for terms of y. So this means if I wanted to take the derivative of y squared with respect to x, I'm going to let u equal y. So my inner function is y my outer function is going to be u squared. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply the chain rule. The derivative of y, or the derivative of u, is y prime. In other words, we can rewrite it using the Lebanese notation dy dx. Equal, and then our derivative of the outer function is 2u, and then replace the u with what we let u be up here, which was y. Now, according to the chain rule, we're going to multiply these two derivatives together. So that means the derivative of y squared with respect to x is equal to 2y times dy dx. Now let's go ahead and do the chain rule for the derivative of x squared with respect to x. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to let u be x, my inner function, my outer function is going to be u squared. I'm going to take the derivative of each. So when I take the derivative of x, I'm going to get x prime. And rewritten in Lebanese notation would be dx over dx, which algebraically that would just become 1. And then the derivative of f prime is going to be 2u, replace u with 2x, then multiply these two derivatives together so that I get the derivative of x squared with respect to x as 2x. Now, the difference between these two is that when you're taking the derivative of something in terms of x with respect to x, you're just taking it like a normal derivative. So in this case, we just did the power rule to get the 2x. Here, when you're taking the derivative of y with respect to x, you still can take the power rule, so notice 2y, but you have to multiply your derivative by the dy dx, and that comes from doing the chain rule here. So now I can go ahead and do my actual derivative of each term. 
So the derivative of x squared with respect to x is 2x. The derivative of y squared with respect to x is 2y dy dx equals, now I can take the derivative of 3y to the fifth using the power rule, so I get 15y to the fourth, and since it's in terms of y with respect to x, I have to multiply by a dy dx. Now your step two is to collect the terms with dy dx on one side and the other terms on the other side. So I moved the 2y dy dx over with the 15y to the fourth dy dx. Step three is to factor out a dy dx. So now I have the following. My goal is to solve for dy dx. That's what I'm doing. So my next step is to divide both sides by the factor to leave dy dx by itself. So there is my final answer. All right, your turn. Go ahead and pause. All right, welcome back. So on the first one, you're gonna take the derivative of 4x squared with respect to x, which will just be 8x. The derivative of 9y squared with respect to x is 18y dy dx, and this is just a constant, so the derivative of a constant is zero. Now I'm solving for dy dx, so subtract the 8x to the other side, and divide by the 18y to get dy dx by itself, and then of course simplify your fraction. So dy dx is equal to negative 4x over 9y. All right, our second one, we will have to apply the product rule when we take the derivative of this term. So <clears throat> the first term, x squared, derivative is 2x. Now, taking the product rule of x times y, the derivative of the first term, which is x, is 1 times the second term, so 1 times y gives me y, plus the first term, x, times the derivative of y with respect to x, which is dy dx, equals the derivative of the constant 3, which is 0. Now I'm going to go ahead and get dy dx by itself. So I subtracted 2x and I subtracted y to the other side, divide by x, and now I have dy dx by itself. All right, see if you can try these two on your own. All right, let's see how we did. Okay, I can take the derivative of x squared normally. Here I'm gonna have to apply the product rule. y cubed normally, just implicitly, so I'll have to multiply by dy dx, and c is just a constant. So, derivative of x squared gives me the 2x. Now this negative 2, I'm going to attach it to the x. So my first function in this product is negative 2x. My second function is y. So the derivative of negative 2x is negative 2 times the second function y, plus the first function, which is negative 2x, and that's why this is now a negative 2x instead of a plus, times the derivative of the second function, which is y, so dy dx, plus the derivative of y cubed with respect to x, so we get 3y squared times dy dx, equal to the derivative of a constant, 0. So now I'm going to solve for dy dx. And I moved the 2x and the negative 2y to the other side. I'm going to factor out a dy dx on the left, divide, and now I get dy dx by itself. All right, the fourth one. You got a product rule here and another product rule with chain rule here. So <clears throat> I'll explain each piece. The derivative of y to the fifth with respect to x 5y to the fourth dy dx. Now I'm going to apply the product rule. Derivative of x squared is 2x times the second function y cubed, plus the, the first function x squared right here times the derivative of y cubed, so 3y squared times dy dx, 
equals, well, the derivative of one is just a con is just zero, so I don't even have to write the zero. Now I'm going to apply the product rule for this term. Derivative of the first function, which is y, is dy dx times the second function, plus the first function, which is y, so that's this y, times the derivative of e to the x squared. So the inner function is x squared. So the derivative of the inner function x squared is 2x times the derivative of the outer function, which is e. So the derivative of e is itself. So e to the inner function. All right, now I have to get all the dy dx's on one side and anything without a dy dx to the other side. So I moved the dy dx e to the x squared to the left, and I moved the 2xy cubed to the right. Factor out a dy dx, divide by this uh, factor, and there is your final answer. All right, I hope you enjoyed implicit differentiation, and I will see you in class tomorrow. Have a good night.